Hello, Marlene here with yet another short indie horror game from Mitch.io. This one a demo called Dead Faces, in which the days seem to blend together as you slowly forget the world outside your apartment. Visions of people you've known begin to plague you through increasingly worse hallucinations. Explore and live through each day in your apartment and face the past as you gradually lose your grasp on reality to reclaim your memories. So this game looks quite good based on their Itch.io page, and I do believe it's going to become a full game at some point on Steam. Either way, let's play it. Let's check out the Dead Faces demo slash prologue. It's been two years since you lost everything. Shitty. Isolated for years in your apartment, you can't remember their faces. What happened to us? <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out. Their faces portray a loss buried underneath the stars. The line between reality draws ever thin. Trust not in the mind, but trust in the visions. Ooh, quite the intro. Oh, it's still going. You must remember their faces, Jack, or the nightmares will never end. Hopefully there isn't anything that involves actually remembering faces because that is not one of my strengths. <gasps> Dead faces. Da da da. Loading. Please wait. <laughs> Wild. Oh, here we go. It begins. The prologue. The unknown visitor. Oh. This is this is kind of rough. <laughs> Something about it that's rough. Bloom. The frick is bloom? Ocean blur. Oh, it's all disabled. Let's disable bloom. I'm not really sure what that means. Resolution. Da, da, da. Low quality, oh no. We're going all the way up to medium. <laughs> Apply, that's fine. Oh, it looks like darker. Oh man, this is one of those games that will definitely give me a headache if I play it for too long. How do we examine this? Uh, with Q? Interior designs by any love heart. Q is a weird one. <laughs> Let's turn Bloom back on. I don't know what Bloom does, but I feel like I want it. Use. This thing is broken. I need to check controls because I am so confused. Use is Q. Examine is Q. Use is E. Reload. Are we gonna get a gun? Okay. So... Okay. Let's see if we can use the computer over here. Yeah, use it. Once I run out of the money, I won. It's over for me. Well, that's not good. Is it 3 a.m. or p.m.? Examine. Gate. Path to wisdom. Why does it make that noise every time I look at a book? It's weird. All right, let's eat it, interact. Cute examine. Thank you. Figured that out. Thanks. Oh, I hope this isn't like a repeating hallway situation. I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. All right, Wi-Fi router. Don't really need to look at everything. Oh, who's this? Looks like Miley Cyrus a little bit. She still haunts my mind after all these years. Okay. I can't remember who this person is. All right, gotta sell some bathroom over here. <laughs> Why is there like a party banner up here by the shower? Or over the toilet? Interesting, use the mirror. Begin Baby Luke's chapter, only available in full game. Oh yeah, this is going to be a pretty wild full game. Chapter. Oh, so each chapter has a mirror. That's a pretty neat idea. I like that. I sure examine the iron. Okay, no. We're done examining things. <laughs> really not much point. Yet I keep doing it. I can't even see shit down this hallway. What is this? I'm not walking down that hallway. I can't see anything. You close this door. Yeah, this very much feels PT. Just go down it. Oh, it's, it's a door we can open. Okay. It looked like a pitch black hallway. I'm sorry. Is that just some milk? It's gonna go bad, man. Yeah, I gathered. Thanks. Is there a door or something? Oh, I'm getting some static here. I really wish I had a flashlight. It is, I guess there's light switches, I think. Yeah, let's see if we could use a light switch. Nope. Lame. Yeah, put this away. Okay, we're done examining shit. 
It's a lot of books to examine. I'm not doing it. Can we turn the TV on? Do we just go back to the other room? I don't even see a front door. Though there might be one? I don't know. I just- I just can't see. <laughs> Let's just head back to our bedroom. Oh, there's one. Requires a key. We gotta find a fucking key in here? Is that a radio? Oh! Is that a hammer? A W hammer? Phone. Can we use it? I feel like I'm missing seeing things. That... I'm not a big fan of the whole pick up everything and examine everything. Like, I just want to look at useful things. Oh, what is this? Psycho blood screen. A thrilling horror experience. Cool. <gasps> oh, hello there. <laughs> You're mighty tall. I like the suit. Any chance you dropped a key? And we still need a key. Maybe that's a sign we're meant to go over here. Well, that really lights up the room. I do. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, there's, there's bugs on the wall. It's pretty impressive, man. Are we just gonna go back and forth? Because I could do this dance all day. There was all that crap on the floor before? I don't know. Oh, there's something written on the wall now. You must remember their faces. Call it now, this is a coma story. Our character's in a coma. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't play a lot of horror games. Okay, looking for a key. I think that's... I think that's the goal. The TV changed? I don't freaking know. Will it be in a book? The clock? I don't- I don't know, where am I gonna find a key? Oh, it probably in this drawer, yeah? <laughs> what was that? Okay, no. What even is this, though? I don't know what this is. A vacuum? I remember their faces. I'm trying. What is this? Is it a radio or an answering machine? Oh. This is very PT inspired, right? Toothpaste, nice. Is the bathtub full of something? I don't know. Oh, we're locked in. <laughs> There's bugs everywhere in this house. It'd be nice to have a flashlight. There's something hanging over the bathtub. What is this? What do I do? Am I supposed to do something or am I just waiting for something spooky to happen? Oh yeah, there's some stuff. Oh, there's a key. Yeah, take it. What did he say? I assume that's a body. But either way, we got a key. That means we could probably go through the door. So that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll just close that up right there. <laughs> what is that? It's hideous. Oh, did it just fall? Let's take a look at some of this art. That one's pretty bad, but sure, examine it. This painting, did I create this? Maybe. I don't actually know anything about you, buddy. Jack, I think was his name. It's... Okay. Don't think we're gonna be able to get in here. Yeah, dot, dot, dot. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> that a Grim Reaper? Ooh. I don't know, I don't find this sort of thing too scary. Because you just kind of know shit's gonna pop out at you at any moment. And it's too fucking dark. I hate when it's too fucking dark. Yeah, I see you there. 
tall man. Should we be running? Your fault. What did we do? Bread? Okay, see there's, um, weird foam around the door again? Whatever you call it, which I think means you can't leave. Yeah, until something happens, Attention. you just gotta wait. Attention. What's this say? Angel? Oh, nice. Can we keep it? An angel statue. There appears to be something hidden. A key. There we go. An angel statue? Yeah, take that for sure. I don't really... Oh, hang on, hang on! I'm failing at these controls. One second. There we go. And tick. There we go. Figured it out, baby! <laughs> All right, can we leave now? We got the key, yeah? yeah? We'll just close that. Leave him to do whatever the fuck he's doing out there. I noticed it's always 3 a.m. or p.m. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure coma situation we've got going on here, right? Got some cereal. Where do we use this key? If we can leave now, I don't think so. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that's grim. Maybe we use it on this door here with all the chains? I didn't realize those were chains. Was there any other doors? Maybe right here. Yeah, there seems to be- yeah, okay. Well, at least it's not a repeating hallway, which is nice. Ooh, another bathroom. You let me- left me to rot, I think it said? This feels very much like a, um... Oh god, what do you call it? I haven't been to one since I was a little kid where you walk through like a haunted house, a horror house. It feels like that, because you just go into a room and then you just have to wait. I'm guessing there's some story here with strangulation. Okay, <laughs> it did just get a little bit weirder here. I don't think I'm standing in the right place to fully embrace this moment. Our father? Oh, hello there. Is that just a big person? Is that a body? I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Can't do anything with it. We just wait. <laughs> All right. Next, <laughs> next scare. I'm ready for you. Oh, finally, we got some light. Oh, ew! Slice two. Move it. Oh no, we got a puzzle here. Shit. Are we make. Oh, there's freaking five. What even are we trying to make here? That looks right. Those are eyes. Oh, the clown. The clown painting. I think so. Oh, no, that was right. Damn. There we go. And this one should be the last. Oh, beautiful! That's art. <laughs> That's right, right? Father. That is one very clean toilet. That's one thing I'll say about this house so far. Outside of the bugs, it's pretty clean. Can we just leave? Are we done? I think we're done. Basketball? <laughs> okay, that got me a little bit at the end there. Your apartment changes every day. Explore and interact with everything. And then something, something about progressing. Press any key to continue. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. Hang on, I missed something. Oh my god. Is that dad? 
Every day, progressing through the days. Am I dying? Is that what's happening? Oh, the end. In the full game, each chapter will revolve around a character from your past. But that's cool. I find that quite intriguing. I really like, too, how you could do chapters based on the mirrors. I, I always love when mirrors are included in these sorts of things. I don't know why. Thank you for playing a Dead Faces prologue demo. So right off the bat, I will say it was good. It definitely well made, especially graphically. It looked great. It was a little bit unsettling, uh, chilling, uncomfortable. Full release coming to Steam and Itch. Wishlist would follow me on Twitter. Okay. Oh, well, that was Dead Faces, the prologue demo, which I will admit, a very good looking game. You can tell a lot of work went into it, and it has a lot of potential to be a great full game, but I don't think it was for me. I don't know. It just didn't really bother me that much. Something about this, this game type that just doesn't really scare me. I don't know. Whenever I had to search for like a key just to get to the next door and then another key to get to the next door, uh -uh. or just standing there waiting for something to happen kind of kills the horror for me because I already know I'm not in control. I just got to wait it out and see what happens. I don't know. It's just something with it didn't click with me, but it's probably a me thing and not the game. As you can see, it looked fantastic. Played while there was no issues. But yeah, that was Dead Faces. Of course, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.